Hi everyone, and welcome back to part 14 of Life is Strange True Colors. We left off taking part in the LARP event that Riley put on for us. So we're just going to continue with that. Um, don't really know what to expect. Um, but we did quote unquote kill Ryan in the last part. If you missed it, go watch it. His death was uh, dramatic. Um, but yeah, so we're just going to continue on. I honestly forgot what our mission was. Um, I think we were supposed to meet Riley or Steph. Someone. We were supposed to meet someone. <laughs> and then continue on with our LARP journey. Um, but yeah, we during this LARP you can collect scrolls that have magic abilities or healing spells and stuff like that. So I find that really cool. And a lot of people seem to be in high spirits because of this LARP event. Um, with all the tragedy going on. This is like a welcoming thing for them. And for Ethan too. So we talked to him already. Um, we can actually check what our quests are. Uh, can we? <laughs> okay, yeah. So note to self, stop by the flower shop. Um, things to do, find the soul sapphire and find the soul ruby. So those are our main things we gotta do. But um, we can stop off at the flower shop first. Let's go and do that while also seeing if there is anybody interesting to talk to or interesting things to find. I can't go in this direction. There is someone here which doesn't have an aura. Oh, but there is a scroll there. Hey, kid. You responsible for that massacre in the Black Lantern? What the heck? We're the good guys. Right, of course. <laughs> Okay, take the scroll. So this one, your allies gain an extra turn. That's useful. We're like master scroll seekers. Yup. What? Okay, so I can't talk to him. <laughs> no, not a real massacre. <laughs> Could you imagine if it was a real massacre? Oh my god. Whoever he's talking to on the phone would have been Go freaked. get him, Ethan. I'm Thanor. Go get him. I love how the whole town is so supportive. Okay. This is Treasures of Tibet. I don't think we can I bet go in there. There's something fun in the record store. Um. Oh, yeah, that's the record store. Could there be something down the alley? Okay, we could go down the alley. Where's the record store? Oh, there's the record store, and then the flower shop is there. So. Let's go down the alley, alley, since we're here. This is boring. Dead guy. Shh, they're here. Oh my god. Woe is me. Woe is me. Behold, my love has been slain by yonder river monster. Where? Just down the... Yonder... <laughs> alley. Near the river. Alas, alas. Oh my god. That's so funny, the, the, the amount of like emotion and personality they put into these characters. Huh. That actually felt really sad. Yeah, right? <laughs> wow. I would definitely miss you. If you were eaten. Beware of river monster. <laughs> that sounds like a boss battle that I'm not ready for. So let's go to the <laughs> flower shop. And see what's going on here. Because I can maybe collect some more scrolls and such. There's a random paper on the floor. Okay. Wait, that doesn't um, have a... Okay, it doesn't have a aura to it. Um, no one appreciates my fine work. No one. This man's angry. Fun. Two, three, I control me. One, two, three, I control me. This book is written for fucking toddlers. Ooh, nothing like getting pissed off at your anger management book. Oh my god. To remember anything, all these 
monsters running around. Okay. That's the blacksmith guy. We need action. This is the flower. Something store. fun in the record store. Restores you and your allies to full health, removes all negative status. I effect. saw that! Like right before you picked it up. I wonder how Riley's doing with the USB. That run felt amazing. I'm so proud of myself. Wow. Good for her. Nice. I wonder what we'll find at the Bridge of Flowers. Oh, what is this? The wolf coming back from the dead? Oh. Oh. Ooh, one of the gems. Oh, shit. oh it's a goblin. Troll. A troll. Incoming. He's got a soul jewel right there. Oh, oh, oh. you like my belt? Oh. <laughs> it's made of human skin. <laughs> oh, what do you think we should do? We should fight. Um. Yeah, fight. What else would you do? Let's take him. I'll smash you to bits. We beat you once, Ryan. We'll beat you again. Okay. I forgot Alex's abilities, so let's see if we can. Oh, so Daenor got a new ability. Does that say three damage? Three damage to enemies and one damage to allies once per battle only. Okay, well, we don't want that. Um. Oh yeah, she's at eight health, um, so. I can do I don't want to waste a turn on healing. Um I can do the I can do Alex first, double Thanor's next attack and then have him do the fire or the yeah, the the stab damage. So let me make. I can make him do the burning attack first. Um, what is it? Yeah, the burning blade. Okay, burning blade. Burning blade. One damage, <clears throat> and you're on fire for the next two turns. Okay, and then Alex, we will use... Uh, what's her magic again? Her magic is healing and double standards next to attack. Yeah, so magic. Stirring him. Double Thanor's next attack. Throwing rock. Oh. Two damage. Ah, I'm still on fire. Okay. Um, we're going to do the stab attack. Hulk! <clears throat> Four damage! And Alex, I'm going to heal. Healing serenade. Plus one health to us. Yep. Throwing rock. Ah! Two damage. Stop attacking me! Ah, I'm still on fire! Okay, so... Um, I can, can I strengthen his attack again? Hmm. What items do I have? Oh, scroll of healing, scroll of nimbleness, scroll of advantage. Um. Um. Okay, let's just do the stab attack again. And then I'll heal us again. <clears throat> Two damage! <sighs> Healing serenade. 
plus one health to us. Stunning punch. Oh. Stun. Okay, well he's stunned, that's fine. Um I could attack or I can I'll strengthen Ethan's next attack. Stirring him! Double Thanor's next attack. Thanor. Double slam! Oh, ah. Ooh. Alex is dying here. Okay, Ethan. Let's attack with stab. Oh, Oh, he's still alive. Okay, Alex. We gotta heal. Healing serenade. Plus one health to us. Throwing rock. Oh. Two damage. Okay, Ethan's not looking too great. Um Let me see. Uh Thanor, maybe I should get him to do the Burning Blade. Let me strengthen his next attack. And then use Burning Blade. Stirring him! Double Thanor's next attack! And then... Um, is Burning Blade magic? Uh, Burning Blade one. Okay. Burning Blade. Burning Blade! Two damage, and you're on fire for the next two turns. Oh, well. He's dead anyway. Nice. Yeah. I wonder if we can heal outside of battle. Here. Look what else I got. New skill acquired, class warrior, strike of... Wrath. Three damage may be used once per battle. So who does they not get that? Only one more jewel left. Getting there. Okay, that troll is scary. I admit it. Nothing to admit. It's just facts. Being scary definitely lends a battle advantage. That's definitely Ryan under there, right? Okay. So let's go to the flower shop to see about Riley and the, um... Riley and the USB. I wonder how Riley's doing with the USB. Yes, I'm going there, don't worry. And then the record shop is the other place. Mind if I duck in here a second? Bard business. I have to, um, renew my Bard Guild membership. Yeah. Okay. We're just gonna leave Ethan standing outside? Don't mind my chewing, if you can hear it. I'm starving. Not starving, but I'm peckish. I feel like snacking. Dear customers, reduced hours of operation May and June. As we search for additional staff, we apologize for the inconvenience. Congrats, Riley. Oh. So she's moving on? Hey there. <laughs> Why does the smile on Alex look progress is going with the USB? Look um so fake or weird or something. Nice.
And I go to the back room, see if anything new is here. This is just so nice. Eleanor gave her $500. You'll need a new computer for your fancy new scholarship. If this doesn't ca cover it, tell me and I'll write another check. I'm so proud of you. Aww. Riley's like 300 pages in. Must be a good book. <laughs> An astonishing vision of the future. Bus ticket. God, I took that bus here barely a month ago. Feels like it's been years. Very bus lines. Any of these have memories on them? No. For spring festival. These are freaking gorgeous. Interesting. What a piece of shit. Hey, Riley, I got you a little going away present. It's from that chocolate place we went to on our anniversary last year. I haven't been able to sleep lately thinking about you out partying on your own. Of course, I trust you, but there's going to be a lot of guys there, and that makes me anxious. Honestly, I wish you would think about that a little. Call me if you ever want to talk, Mac. Ugh. I mean, Mac probably loves her. Um, genuinely, but... He was still a jerk that had anger issues. And the fact that he's like, there's gonna be a lot of guys there. Uh, I wish you would think about that a little. They're broken up, aren't they? Like, I thought they were broken up. Oh, it's in the garbage too, haha. <laughs> Sooner or later, Riley's gonna figure out Eleanor's secret. Ship to Friesland Garden Wholesale. Did you mean to order this twice? If not, I'll send back on Monday. Oh. So she doesn't know about her uh, uh, Eleanor's condition. I hope I don't have to break the news to her. So Eleanor's donating all those decorations? Leaf Flowers Annual Spring Raffle. Take home a beautiful arrangement from this year's Spring Festival. One ticket, one dollar. All proceeds support the Spring, the Haven Springs Historical Preservation Society. There's a whole tech side to Riley I never knew about. Gabe did, though. Any luck with the USB? No, not yet. It's gonna take hours, if we're lucky. Oh. If you want to check it out, it's running on the office computer. But don't touch anything. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for doing this. You don't have to thank me. It's the least I could do for Gabe. And actually, it's kind of fun. I didn't realize you were so good with computers. Is that what you're going to school for? Civil engineering. Or maybe robotics? It's a lot to figure out. Kind of crazy. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about something else. Eleanor, first and foremost. I saw Eleanor at the Black Lantern this morning. She probably needed a break from me. I've been nagging her all morning about getting one of those, like, medical alert buttons. <laughs> oh, man. I'm gonna be four hours away, and she's never lived alone before. Ooh. We can talk about Mac. How's Mac doing? I haven't seen him in a while. Oh, he's around. Probably too embarrassed to show his face. <laughs> he gives me shit every time I see him. I can't get out of this town fast enough. Stay strong. Mm, talk later. Let's talk later. I'll let you know if I make any progress. Thanks again. Okay, so Max just hiding. Okay, let's see that um computer. I will definitely not touch this. Huh. Attack mode. Um checking password. 
passwords checked. 300,000, wow. Okay, so that's about it. I wonder if I try to speak to her again what she would say. Have fun with your... thing. Okay, so she doesn't say anything. Hiring ad. Must be hard to find new employees in a small town. I hope it works out. Store management, flower arrangements, customer service, cashier, deliveries. Full time or part time. Please speak to Eleanor if you're interested. Okay, interesting. So. Max, nowhere to be found, but the USB's working, so. Gotta find that last gem, which is probably in the record shop. I love how Ryan played the wolf and the ogre, <laughs> or troll, goblin, whatever it was, troll. Okay, so we're done. Okay, Ethan will automatically follow me. And let's just see what's going on I over bet there's here. There's something fun in the record store. Hello there. I hear you've dealt with that nasty troll, huh? I nearly died of shock. Bah, what a thankless life being a smith in the age of monsters. Whoa, he's really into this. I was about to say, I thought he was mad about like having the role of a blacksmith like in real life, you know? I thought he was just mad about something in real life, not in the LARP. But he's taking the role seriously. It's really sweet how many people Steph's roped into this. Yeah, literally. Oh, what a thankless life. Being a smith Everything in the age okay? of monsters. You seem pretty, um, grumpy. What did you need again? Sun. What did you need again? Sun silver. The components for sun silver. Hey, does anyone know how long the play game thing is going on? Is there still time to sign up? It looks super fun. Sorry, dude. We're in pretty deep at this point. Enjoy the show, though. Aw, oh, bummer. Maybe next time. Aw. I'm guessing this is... a fancy art gallery. Wait. No. A pet shop. <laughs> Please knock twice. Okay. Go for it. Monster or mortal? Mortal. Come in. Let's see how Steph is dressed. <laughs> what role is she playing? I apologize for the chewing sound. <laughs> Sorry about the lock. These are dangerous times. Wow. Welcome to the Magpie Emporium. Oh, so this is like a magic shop. I'm going to take a look around a bit, okay? Okay. 
illusion Let's see what summoning Steph's done to the place that's crazy smithing scroll how does Steph come up with all these names sun silver Sorry, I don't know why I clicked stop recording. <laughs> um, anyway. Um, I hope my volume's okay because I did mess with it, but anyway. Okay, Sun Silver, a semi-magical compound used in the forging of ceremonial weapons, shields, and crests. Once set, Sun Silver can shine with the brightest of seven suns, making it popular at coronations, weddings, and early morning council meetings. Components, iron, goblin ore, fire powder, which I'm assuming I have to buy here and give it to the blacksmith. Uh, the discovery of Sun Silver dates back to the royal smith of Griffin's Peak, who first fabricated the great sword Leipsna Kratos under the direction of high alchemist Robert Welborough. Okay. So I gotta get those materials for... So iron... Fire powder and goblin ore? How does Steph come up with all these names? Yeah, goblin ore. Okay. I can probably remember that. Man. My dating life could have used a truth spell or two. Okay. Unbethrowed, come to the Magpie Emporium on Sunday evenings. Meet other unwed hopefuls in the truth spell environment. Love potion strictly prohibited. Admission one gold. Okay, I don't think I want that. As a classically trained bard, I gotta say, this music's not bad. <laughs> oh. He's forging the Sky Sword of Power. Oh yeah? One day, Thanor's gonna find it. Interesting. Okay, yeah, no, I think my volume... Hi. That actually looks legit. Golems. Animation fee not included. Oh, Steph. Uh-huh. Oh? Dude, I hear you, but a combat-based system with no social mechanics is like my fucking nightmare. Are you- Hey, Precious. Where did you come from? Are you the one I've been hearing in the walls? Oh, that's how she Smart found ass. Her. There's a cat outside the shop. Dude, I don't know. She doesn't have a collar. Oh. Yeah? <laughs> I'll call Pike, see if anybody's reported their cat missing. Meantime, guess she's coming to work with me, isn't she? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Oh my god, that's so cute. She found the cat and took her in. Aww. There's so many things to look at. What the heck? I'd like to try one of those bard instruments, please. You'll need to schedule a private appointment. I'll do that. Private appointment? Excuse me. <laughs> Wait, oh. That's not ominous at all. Business license. The Sorcery Guild hereby authorizes the Ma Magpie Emporium to buy and sell items with magical properties. The guild assumes no responsibility for the consequences. <laughs> okay. Um. Holy shit. Yeah, my reaction exactly. Steph looks fantastic. <laughs> okay, um... She's angry? Why is she angry? What? Why couldn't I see anything? Alex is allowed to think Ryan's hot. I need to get over it. Never seen Steph all twisted up like this before. Surely she knows she's hot too. She's always so confident. Oh my gosh, that's what she's mad about? Oh my god. I bet we're supposed to buy something here. Question is, do we have enough gold? Didn't we need four gold for something? Or five gold for something? Huh. Okay, let's keep looking. Safety procedure. Wonder if they have drills for this. 
Safety procedures, okay. Hold on, my volume might be out of whack a little bit. Uh, and I don't know how to fix it. Oh, let's just hope it's okay. In case of monster attack, gather those who matter, cast protective circle, create illusion in other direction, await archmage assistance, not guaranteed. Okay. Um, ooh, Valkyrie. Warning. Cat is cursed. Do not pet. Yeah, no need to warn me. Alex learned her lesson the first time. Seeking, Seeking insight? insight? Draw a card. Huh. Let's draw a card. What do I want insight about? People? People. Ryan. Is that true for Ryan? I hope so. A card of inspiration, optimism, and hope for the future. Okay. People? Me. Uh, what? A card of necessary choices, equal temptations, and divergent paths. Okay. We obviously know what this is about. People? Steph? Hmm. Really? Um... She's hanged. Oh, a card of self-surrender, fate's accepted, and the unknown embraced. Okay. Things? My power. You were right, Gabe. I'm a superhero. Wow, a card of determination, focus, and the sculpting of one's own destiny, or identity, whatever. Haven. Yikes. Death. A card of endings, inevitable transformations, and letting go. Well, Gabe did die. Holy shit. Too real. The devil, a card of power and domination, and the pursuit of same. Yep, yep. Well, there's no other options. Okay, interesting. Ooh, guitar. I guess some heroes are into bards with flashy guitars, but I'm glad Thanor has better taste. Widely believed to be the instrument of fleet silver tongue, bard of champions, and savior of Prince Claire. Clarderin? 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 One? Priceless or best offer. Okay. Well, we're not buying that. Spells. Spells. Very cute stuff. Are these spells for sale? To members of the Sorcery Guild only. Sorry. Um... Okay, so we can shop, or we can speak to Steph. Oh, I can buy the thing there, so let's speak to the Steph. The streets used to be full of people. The soul sapphire's right there, for sale. Soul sapphire, soul of advantage, soul of healing. Troll I am the us. only vendor of magical items in the kingdom. Troll dust would have been useful before I fought the troll. <laughs> How much money do we have? We've got three gold. Three gold? Ten thousand gold? Okay. Obviously, there's some other way to get this. Too bad we didn't have this back at the bridge. Troll dust. Curiosity, any class. Uh, dusted trolls become very friendly. One pinch per troll. Oh could have used that. Okay. Why is this 10,000 gold? Was I too generous? It was originally 20,000, but No, I meant never mind. Maybe we can make some kind of deal with her. Okay. Would you consider giving us that sapphire or my hand in marriage? Oh my god. Why is that an option? Um, should I try for free first? Because I'm into Ryan and I don't want to lead her on in case this has like future impacts. Let me try for free first. For free? Of course not. We need the sapphire right away. It's for a quest to 
end the age of monsters. I've heard there's a magical fish that lives in the River of Sorrows. Bring me back one of its scales, and I'll give you the sapphire in return. Okay. Side quest! Yeah. We have to go to the river anyway. Too bad if I did this earlier. I would have, um... <laughs> I would have been able to... Why well, couldn't buy this stuff for the blacksmith? What? But anyway. Um, yeah, if I fought the, the fish earlier, probably wouldn't have to go back, but it's okay. I don't know what time we're at in this video because it became multiple parts, so... I'm just gonna go until I finish this quest um, and finish saving the world. I don't, I don't know. We'll see. We'll get the fish, we'll give it to Steph, and we'll see what becomes of that. Hopefully it, it ends the chapter. <laughs> or something so I can just save it and leave. <sighs> okay. So we can't get the blacksmith stuff. Hey, we found the components of Sun Silver. It's iron, goblin ore, and fire powder. Praise the gods. Of course. How could I forget? Why don't you take that scroll for your kindness? I've no need of it. Cool. Advantage, you and your allies gain an extra turn. Did you see this scroll first? Uh, no. All right. He's hmm. That alley goes to the river. Fish live in rivers. Okay, let's see. Oh my god. <laughs> Some kind of snake? F Typhon. I guess. Oh, Ryan. Do we have to fight it? Why wouldn't we? Not worth it. Doesn't deserve it. It's cute. <laughs> That's right. It's cute. I mean, it's kind of cute, isn't it? And not goofy looking at all. Oh my god! What are you talking about? Oh my god. Ethan? It's gonna attack! What do you wanna do? Uh. Bell? What bell do we have? Ophidian chime. Snakes within hearing must fall asleep. Oh. Pretend that's a low sound. Snake's ears are internal, so they can't hear. <laughs> nice. Okay, so now we gotta fight the fish. Who's the fish? Or do I get the scale off the snake? More loot! A new spell, perhaps? All right, let's make some ears bleed. Ooh, attack, three damage, once per battle. Yikes. Okay. Wait, what's that? The scale of the fish? I found the fish scale! Nice. Let's go back and trade it for the soul sapphire. Yeah. Why did they jump over a wall? That was so smart of you to use the bell. It worked out, didn't it? Neat music. Can't wait to transfix some monsters with my sweet hypnotic jams. Oh. 
Transfix. Enemy cannot move for one turn. May be used once per battle. Okay, interesting. Good thing I turned back. The uh, benefit of um, looking everywhere. Oh. No, I can't look at Ryan. <laughs> Ethan's like, what the heck are you talking about? Can I go this way? Ooh, another scroll. One dodge. Okay. Stocking up on scrolls. Yeah, that we're never gonna use. Yeah, we might. Okay, let's head back to the shop. I wish you could run a bit faster or have a teleport function. Okay, we handled the river serpent. Seemed like so long ago. We have the fish scale. Now we can. Okay, so the fish scale was pretty easy <laughs> at the end of the day. I don't think we have to um, fight anything else. Hopefully. We are back! Okay, so... We got the fish scale. One magic fish scale. Impressive. Well... Then, here's my end of the bargain. Okay, we got all three. What now, though? We've got all three! We can go back to the king now! Okay, I guess that's where we're going. We finished all the side quests, too, I guess. Oh yeah, the king was Jed in the park, I forgot. Hopefully this LARP finishes because <laughs> I think this video is getting to be like an hour long, but we'll see what happens. I also hope the volume's okay because I didn't get to check it and I was fixing my mic, so uh, I don't know, but we'll see. Okay. It might be too- We've low. still got coins. Should we spend them before we go back to the king? Um, sure. I mean, what would we spend it on? Good idea. Maybe we'll swing by the Emporium. Okay, yeah, no, I don't want to, I don't want to spend it. I, but I thought we needed, like, four coins for something. Let me see. Do I still only have three coins? I have four coins. Um, so let's go back here. I don't remember what I needed it for. But I swear we needed four coins for something. Or maybe I have to talk to, to the um, jester again. Let me see. I just hate these loading times. Let me see if I can Google it. Um, what do I need the four coins for? Okay. 
I was having such a quiet morning. I was having such a quiet morning. Alex is right. But I was just trying to have a little fun. Aww. I don't know. What did I need the coins for? All right, back to the park. Okay, I didn't really find anything um, about the four coins, but um, we'll just head over to the park. It's fine. Um, let's just see. They say what... you've put the snake to sleep. Well done, my friends. It was a creep. I know this guy. He's one of Steph's co-workers. Okay, let's just head back into the park if I can find my way in there. Uh, where exactly am I going? Am I in the right spot? Oh, I gotta go through these rocks, right? I forgot. Oh. Wait, what? How do I get there? There's a person there. Gabe, you would have really had fun. Oh, oh my god! It's my mom. <laughs> nope, not. Thanor, the monster slayer. You've come at last. Oh, is that his mom in the game? Do story you remember cube? me from your past adventures? You're Natheria, the forest spirit. Ah. You have done well on your quest. The forest notices. She offers a treasure for you to claim. Look, there. What is that? Is it this a sword? I didn't I didn't take a good look at it. I don't even the know. Sky what sword. Is. Oh, it's the sky sword. Okay. So she was the sky sword of power. It's exactly the same as I drew in the comics. It's got the pincer. And the same grip. And it's got this part for the jewels. How do they do it? Can I really take it? Use it for good. Promise me you'll only use it for good. Helping others and stuff like that. Okay. <laughs> Cutie. I wonder who made the sword. Oh, so precious. Look at that. <gasps> yes, the golden. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. 
Oh. <gasps> That's how he sees the world. <gasps> That's so pretty. Oh my god. His imagination. Oh my god. I wonder how he sees his mom. As the forest spirit. Look at that sword. Oh my god. Bard, a song if you please. Oh my god, they're so cute. What is she gonna sing? Monsters beware, prophecy fulfilled. Damn, should I be monsters beware? <laughs> Or prophecy fulfilled. I don't know which one. Um, prophecy fulfilled. The prophecy is fulfilled at last. Now Thanos' might is unsurpassed. Ah, oh, damn! I should have sang the monsters beware. <laughs> oh my god! Wrong choice. Wrong choice. Yikes, what is happening? <laughs> oh my god, is that Jed? The king turned evil? <laughs> I'll take that sword now and the jewels. Cravius, Lord of the Underworld. I should have known King Tabor was you all along! You fools! You have collected the jewels I need and brought them right to me! Oh my gosh. Defy Kravis, encourage Thanor. We've gotten this far. We can beat him. Yes. Give them to me! No, sir. Okay, let's see how good we are at this fighting with only 10 health. Okay, now it's like a real game. Okay. Um, I kind of want to use an item. Scroll of healing. Scroll of healing. Okay, I hope that wasn't a mistake. Um. Um. I don't remember all the skills. Um. No, I need. I need reference to the abilities. Shit, that didn't take long. Lost one flash drive. I think I had it last when I was in the lantern earlier. Please, if anyone finds it, get in touch with me immediately. I'm offering a reward. I'll keep an eye out. Thank you. Rough. Hope you find it. What kind of reward? Do you have it? No, but depending on the reward, I'll try a reward. I'll try a lot harder to find it. Oh my god. Okay. Um. Okay, I want to. Stirring him. Okay. Um. Strike of wrath. Strike of wrath. I don't remember what this is. Oh, does it not matter what I do? Okay. Um. Fire blast. Um. Attack. Stab. Let me do this again. Stirring him! And then let me attack with the burning, burning blade. blade. Oh. Ring of fire! Ah, crap! <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, so they know I can't attack, so... Horrid disharmony! I summon the fury of hell! Yikes. Death to all who defy me! Oh my gosh. Okay, we're definitely gonna need this fire. We're gonna need to heal. Okay, can I use items? Scroll of healing. Scroll of healing. Okay. I don't think we have any more scrolls of healing, but um, okay, so let's. Hypnotic fugue. Okay, put him to sleep. Because then that gives us an extra turn. Thanor can do burning blade or fire blast. Fire blast! I think we can risk it. We're at full power, so. Sorry, worth it. Transfixed by the gorgeous music. Transfixed by the gorgeous music. Okay, do you think we can finish him off? She only does one damage, so I might as well stirring him Sainor and try to do the stab for four damage. Oh, we did it. Wow, he vanished. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we did it! I can't believe what just happened! <laughs> epic. Fun. Epic. That last fight was epic! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the best part was finding... Is that... Typhon? Oh god. Shit. Gabe's dead. Gabe's dead because of me. It's my fault. I killed Gabe. I killed Gabe. I killed Gabe. Oh no. Ethan. Oh my god. Listen to me. It wasn't your fault. At all. Aww. It wasn't. Okay? It wasn't. Well, I mean, that's the reality of things. No matter how much fun you have at the moment, it's like these things just weigh down. And I don't think he'll forget it anytime soon. Until we get justice, that is. And we need to get justice. I think that ends that chapter, but we'll see. Oh, it did not end. Charlotte? Back here. Ooh, look at that. I don't think that was there earlier, was it? Or were we even able to go there? Hey. Thanks for coming. Of course. Ethan's dad already pick him up? Yeah, they just left. Interesting. I just wanted to thank you. Ethan needed today. 
so did I. Glad I could help. Glad I could help. It was a group effort, but I'm glad I could help. He thinks the world of you, you know. After everything, I think you're sort of his hero. Mm. He's sort of mine. How creative he is. You must be so proud of him. He was so thrilled to see you show up with the sword. I think that was mostly about the sword. Maybe. But I think he was happy to see you in his world. I agree. And I just realized she probably made the sword. <laughs> Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm okay. Charlotte? You're clearly not okay. God, Alex, don't mind me, okay? Just a lot going on. There's Typhon on her back. You do have a lot going on. I don't mind. I don't mind you. At all. Do you want to talk about it? You're really sweet but i'm okay thanks for swinging by i'll see you at the festival yeah damn what do i say i think she's gonna turn me away no matter what i say you sure really okay you sure are you sure if you want company i'm said no don't you listen? Shit. Okay, now I gotta stick around and figure this, this was out. A mistake. Where did that anger come from? Okay, let's see. There's a lot going on here and I feel like I should end the stream, but I really want to read this. Um, Hero, dude, thank you so much. You totally killed it. Award-winning bard material right there. Thanks. You were pretty amazing too, you know. Aw, shucks. Ducky. Huh. Dear Alex, what a marvelous event. I'm so glad I could participate in today's live action role play. It brings me back to my days in theater. Did I ever tell you that I once essayed the role of Falstaff in my school's production of The Merry Wives of Windsor? With enough liquid prodding, you may one day get me to recall a few verses. And thank you for including me in the festivities. It's nice to take my mind off things. Anyhow, you enjoy your first spring festival. I can still remember mine. Clear as day. Sincerely, Reginald McAllister III. Thank you, Ducky. You were wonderful. Okay. It looks like Charlotte is really pouring herself into her art. What is it, though? It's her reaching up? And Ethan cowering? Oh, no. Wait. It's multiple people. Oh, it's... Her and Gabe probably holding Ethan, and now she's sad? I don't know. I can't interpret that. Um, the only thing with an aura is hers, so. There's almost an innocence about this one. I wonder what it's saying. I don't even know how to interpret that. Wonder what's inside. Her locked up emotions? Trying to be strong for everybody else. Faintly Beautiful. So why does it kind of make my skin crawl? This hurts to even look at. How much oh. did it hurt to make? Oh my god. Oh my god. This hurts to even look at. How much did it hurt to make? Oh my god. Yeah, the fact that she made that. It's her in a bed with a coffin. Oh my god. I can't even imagine. Oh my god. I don't want to mess this up. I need to make the right decisions here. The 
sculpture. Did nothing change? Or am I missing something? Everything's falling apart, okay. I get it now. Kind of. Footprints. Oh my god. No. All alone. Darkness. Oh my god. <laughs> Not wanting to do anything. But forcing yourself to. Ooh. Mindlessly hammering away. Okay, let's look at her sculpture. Anger is so intense. Maybe there's something here that can tell me why. Oh, this, this definitely. Gabe, it's your fault. Why would you teach me to need someone again just to go and leave me all alone? Oh. Oh no. Gabe, oh my god. Yo. Oh my god. If this is her, or I don't even know, who's carrying Gabe? Is it Ryan? <laughs> I don't know. Or it could be her, but... Yikes. This game... The game went all out. And the emotion. Ryan, it's your fault. You were supposed to protect us. Why couldn't you? No! It is Ryan. But he's still a kid. Not a kid like Ethan, but you can't blame him. This one might be Ethan and that No, this this one's Ethan. And that's probably her. Curled up. Because Ryan was carrying Ethan and Gabe, probably. Or maybe that could be her. I don't know. Oh my god. Alex, it's your fault. <gasps> Everyone loves you. But I can't look at you without thinking about how fucked everything is since you came into my life. No. Oh my god. Alex. She's so angry at everyone around her but there's something else here she's mostly angry at ethan for running away with his imagination and books and stories because if it wasn't for him maybe he would still be alive and that's where the innocence of a child comes in a child's just playing but it can result in in serious consequences like death. What oh. is wrong with me? I can't let myself feel this way. When did I become such a fucking monster? Resents herself. Ethan! It's your fault! Why couldn't you just fucking listen? Oh. oh my god. You're angry at him. At Ethan. You blame him. Oh. I'm a bad mom, Alex. Charlotte. What 
did you even say to something like that? Charlotte. I hate my son, Alex. He's sweet, and he's creative, and he's the most important thing in the entire universe to me. And I hate him. For so long, it was just me and him. It took so long to learn how to be okay with that. And I was. But then... Kate... I can deal with hating Ryan. Or you. Or even Gabe. But Ethan... If he had just listened, Gabe would still be alive. It all comes back to that. Oh, man. Your feelings matter. Your actions are what matters. Oh. What do you say to that? Like... I mean, everyone's feelings are valid, right? At least that's what I assume. That's what I hope. Um, but at the end of the day, it is your actions are what matters, right? If she hates her son, though, what is, what is she going to do about it? Right? She needs to, um, voice her emotions. But... What are her actions, though? Your actions are what matters? What is she gonna do? Bottle up her feelings? That's not gonna get her anywhere. Let's just say your feelings matter and hope that's the, that's the right decision. Or maybe not the right one, but the best one? I don't know. Your feelings matter? What you're feeling makes more sense than you think. Your pain matters too. None of it fucking matters! He's dead! <sighs> I wish I were too. Oh my god. I don't think I was ready this for this. anger could kill her. And nothing I'm saying is helping. What if... I could just... Take it away. Take away her anger? But that's not gonna solve anything unless you brainwash her to make her forget that Gabe died. Oh my god. I can do it. I can take her anger from her. not a smart idea. What would that do to her? What would it do to me? And even if I can, should I? Are you gonna make me make that choice for you? <sighs> oh no! Why is this a pivotal choice? Take her anger and leave her alone. Self-sacrifice? I guess? Self-sacrifice. If I don't take her anger away, what would happen to her, to Ethan, would, would she kill herself if I don't take her anger? Would I end up killing myself if I take her anger? Would I be able to get Gabe his justice? Will she learn to deal with her anger? If I leave her alone? In reality, you can't take away people's emotions. I feel like that's gonna F her up if I take her anger. It's gonna, like, people need to learn to, to deal and cope and move on, right? I want to leave her alone. To 
see how she would be able to cope, whether she'd be able to cope, for Ethan's sake. Um, but I, I also want to see what would happen to Alex if I take Charlotte's anger. Um, I don't know. I'll just... I'll take Charlotte's anger just because it's an ability Alex has. She should use it. I, well, no, she shouldn't use it because it might F her up and jeopardize helping Gabe, but, or getting justice for Gabe. But it might open new doors in the future. Let's take Charlotte's anger. Yikes. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't take more than just her anger. Oh my god, these controllers are vibrating like crazy. Oh my god. Alex? So does she just I'm not okay. feel anger at all anymore? Are you okay? Yeah. Yes, I... I think so. Shit. Did I freak out on you? I'm sorry, Alex. I'm... not sure what came over me. I probably just made her emotionless, and that probably was not a good thing to do. Um... I don't want to ask, are you sure you're alright? Because that might put her over the edge again, so I'll just say no worries. It's really okay. I'm a big girl. I can take it. I just hope I don't hurt anybody else with the <sighs> anger that I just took. I wrecked my sculpture. It seems so crazy in here, but... Oh my god, I, feel... I took away her ability to make art because she has no emotions anymore. How do I feel? I shouldn't have done it. I shouldn't have done it. Hey, go home. You're exhausted. I'm serious. It's okay. I'll see you tonight. She's probably not going to feel anything towards Ethan. And she'll be like a lifeless zombie. Oh my god. I shouldn't have done that. She's not going to be able to make art. I took away her creativity. Oh, oh my god. The, uh... I don't think that was the right choice. I should have left her alone. Just because I have powers, I shouldn't use them. But <laughs> I was curious. Now I want to know how she copes, though. Dang. Okay, okay. Hear me out. Is Typhon run by the Illuminati? That would explain the conspicuously triangle-shaped logo. Boom! Finally cracked it. Hey. Alex. So, how did things go with Charlotte? I think she's okay. It's kind of private. I think she's okay. It was intense. But I think maybe she'll be okay. Honestly, I'm not sure how to even talk about it. That's okay. You don't have to. So, please tell me that the USB stick revealed all of Typhon's secrets. Ugh. Nope. Not yet, but... Alex... We found a recording of Gabe's call. Uh-oh. I should probably listen to that. Let's see what it says. What it sounded like, who responded. I need to know. We're here for you, okay? Ethan texted. Hey Alex, it's Ethan. I'm really sorry about that. The LARP was amazing, really. You are a badass. You don't have to apologize. I had so much fun with you. Have a great time with your dad and stay safe. Yikes. 
Can I look around? Anything else? Okay, play the recording. Type in safety. Mac? It's me. Fuck off, Chin. Yeah, yeah, okay, just listen. I need you to call off the explosion. Ethan's in the blast radius. Shit. He could get killed. What the hell's wrong with you? He snuck off. We're, we're up here right now, trying to find him. Mac, please. All right, I'm on it. We'll halt the blasts. Fuck. You can't imagine the headaches this will create for me. Thanks, Mac. Whatever. Just doing my job. They just ignored him. <laughs> That's so fucked. You know it's bad when Mac turns out to be the good guy. Alex, you okay? Anger. We're gonna get him. I promise. The anger is gonna manifest. What the hell? Oh, it doesn't matter. None of it fucking matters. He's dead. He's. Fuck that. I don't need to take this. I should follow her. We'll be right downstairs, all right? Oh my god. I shouldn't have taken her anger. Oh my god. I should have left her to it. The first real decision that I'm regretting. Regretting. <sighs> Definitely did Charlotte no favors. Right now, all that matters is taking these fuckers down. This USB stick has what I need. Time to dig through it. Fried rice. A key part of any good investigation. If that happened to me, what's happening to Charlotte? Brian brought this down from his station. Hope it comes in hand. A cold case and a warm beer. Let me read the map. Typhon Pit, Tall Drop Off, Rock Slid, Rock Slides Common, 2008, Mine Collapse, Sinkholes, Old Refinery, Avalanche Common, Old Mill and Processing, Prospect Lake, Dillon River. Brian brought this down from his station. Hope it comes in handy. Thanks for spilling your guts. This time, I don't think Gabe would mind his little sister messing with his stuff. Gabe's call came in from the sat phone at 8.41 p.m. I should find the next call and see if that has any information. 8.41. Okay, find out what happened after Gabe's call at 8.41. So... eight forty one p.m. Type in safety. Mac? It's me. Fuck off, Jen. Yeah, yeah, okay. Just Lena? It's Diane. We have a problem. You're kidding. There's a kid lost in the mountains near the pit. We need to postpone. Lena? Haven is your site, Diane, and therefore this is your decision. I know I don't need to remind you of the stakes. Someone could be hurt. Or killed. We've been over this. Anyone up there has disregarded posted notices and accepted full liability. We're talking about a child. I'm just asking for one day. If you postpone tonight's scheduled blast, you put Rhea in jeopardy. That puts the whole company in jeopardy. Is that what you want? No. Then do the math and make the right call. Email me when it's done. I will. So Typhon thought Rhea, whatever that is, was worth risking our lives. Let's hope Diane's email sheds more light. What is Rhea? Typhon safety. Mac? It's me. Fuck off, Chen. Yeah, yeah, I'll Typhon mining. This is Brandon. Hello. I'm calling from the Department of Land and Resources to confirm the inspection set for next week. 
Yeah, let me grab Diane for you. Thanks. This is Diane. Hi, Diane. I'm calling to... Confirm inspection? <laughs> yes. Did you have a chance to look over the email I sent? I did. Everything looks great. Glad to hear it. I'll see you Thursday then. Mm-hmm. Have a good one. You too. There must be a lot riding on these inspections. Typhon Mining, this is Diane. Hi, Diane. It's Rose, down at Town Hall. Hey, Rose, how are you? Oh, I'm busy as a bee this time of year. You have a second? Some folks have come in here with some questions about the expansion and all that. I was hoping you could give me some answers to pass along to them. I'll do my best. What are the questions? Let's see here. Okay, first question. How many jobs do you expect to create by opening a second pit? We'll be starting with 25 new positions, but that number is expected to grow to 45 within the first year. Oh, give me just a moment here to jot that down. Alrighty, next up. A uh, number of questions regarding risks for pollution. Water, air quality, I don't know if I want to listen to all of these. Anything you can offer there? You know, let me pass that on to our environmental outreach department. They'll get back to you with all the relevant fact and figures. Oh, sure, sure. No problem at all. And last one. They want to know if... Hi, Belts Plumbing. How can I help you? Hi, I'm, uh, HNB Investigations. Bennett speaking. Hi, Bennett. Lena. Hello, Diane. Is it safe to assume you've gotten your emotions under control? My emotions? Someone was killed last night because of a decision you made. I think... I would be very careful with what you say next. Who do you think is more at risk here? Me or you? Excuse me? Now, of course, we're all committed to helping you make it through this difficult period. We don't want to see anyone be scapegoated over an unavoidable accident, right? Right. Great. Then you and I are aligned. Who else knew there were people in the mountains? Just my safety manager, Mac. He got their distress call just before I contacted you. Do you trust him? I... I think I can convince him to be trustworthy. Good, good. Only one point of contact, and you've got him handled. I think we're going to make it through this just fine. Speak to you soon. Wow. Okay. I refuse to feel bad for Diane in all this, but damn. HNB Investigations. Bennett speaking. Hi, Bennett. This is Diane Jacobs. Lena told me... Yep. Been expecting your call. Okay. I'm not sure what the next step is. Just need all the pertinent information on the employee in question. Name, number, address, significant others. We'll handle the rest. I see. Just come by the office. My secretary will take everything down. No records that you were even there. Got it. Okay. I will come by tomorrow. Looking forward to it. Typhon Mining, this is Diane. Hello, Diane. My name is Rory Praha. I'm a journalist with the Rocky Mountain Gazette. We'll be printing a story on last night's accident in the paper tomorrow. Would you like to provide a comment? Yes, I would. Last night's accident was tragic, and made all the more unfortunate by the fact that it could have been avoided with a simple phone call. A simple phone call? Can you speak more about that? Of course. Typhon always has a safety manager on duty. One quick call from Mr. Chen to our 24-hour emergency line would have alerted us that there oh were people in the danger zone, and we could have reacted accordingly and stopped the blasts. Are other Haven citizens in danger of meeting the same fate as Gabe Chen? Absolutely not. As long as you heed the warning signs, you will be safe. And if oh you ever do God. find yourself in an emergency, that's what our emergency line is for. There's no danger whatsoever. All right. We'll be sure to include your comments. Thanks for giving me your time, Diane. Have a nice day. I almost threw up listening to that. Okay, but if a child wanders into the area, I mean, given it's a mining site, they shouldn't wander in the area. But if they don't have a phone, they can't call, they don't have reception, people are still at risk. And <laughs> I don't feel that for Diane because she had multiple opportunities to make this right and to prevent this, one, and to come clean about it. But she's choosing to cover it all up. Typhon Mining. Diane? Oh, hey, Joe. How are you? I'm good. Doing real good. So I have a pretty good list of candidates to go over with you. Looks like I've got 40 names. Great work. When can we go over it? Uh, hey, Diane, can I be candid for a moment? Please. It's just, well, we've all been following the news and, I don't know, 
after that accident. Joe? I just want to be sure there really are positions waiting for these people. There's nothing to worry about. If you have qualified candidates to show me, I have jobs to offer them. Glad to hear it. You free Tuesday afternoon? Around three? Sure. Great. Looking forward to it. Me too. See you later, Joe. I hope Typhon has a nice severance package. Yikes. Okay. So... Oh, I warned you, Lena. Which one's the- this is Who the would have Lisa thought now? getting away with murder would be so... bureaucratic? Okay, hello Diane, I'm emailing- emailing to con inform you that we've set a date for the inspections on your two sites. Please thoroughly review the info below, I'll give you a call in the next couple days to confirm the details. Decommissioned coal, sh coal shaft will be going down. Wait, what? We'll be going down into the closed shaft to ensure Typhon has taken proper precautions to stabilize the land of land post collapse, and that proper shaft closure procedure was followed. I look forward to meeting you. Okay. Too bad money can't fix all of Typhon's problems. Hello, Diane. Sorry to hear about the troubles you're having with your hauler. I spoke with some folks about getting the brakes fixed, but given the upcoming expansion, I've decided to go ahead and buy you a new one. We'll send you out a 789 hauler. It should be efficient enough to handle two pits. The bat guys say they'll have it there next Wait. week. Does this mean someone at Typhon feels actual human emotion? No. I'm not buying it. Huh. Damn. Is this what Diane sold her soul for? Hello, Diane. After our recent conversation, I took the liberty of expediting your application to our executive training program. We will f move forward with your enrollment as soon as you have the situation in Haven all wrapped up. What a polite way of saying, I control you and don't forget it. Yeah. What a polite way of saying, I control you. This is the email Diane mentioned. So what is Rhea? Okay, I warned you, Lena. I effin' warned you. Rhea went off undetected. As you insisted, and now someone is dead. You better have a plan. I'm not going down for this, at least not alone. Okay. I understand that you're upset and emotionally ab emotional about tonight's tragic, unavoidable accident. Therefore, I am choosing to overlook this momentary lapse of judgment. I'll be calling first thing tomorrow to discuss how we move forward. I suggest you take the night to cool off. Wow. That's a funny way to spell criminal negligence. Oh, you can highlight it. I bet this is when Diane decided to start copying evidence to this USB stick. He had a name and a light. Rhea went off undetected. A second blast went off that night. What did Lena say? Without the scheduled blast, Rhea will be discovered. It was a diversion. They set off the blast that killed Gabe to cover up another one somewhere else. That's why they couldn't wait. Oh my god. If I can find out where that blast went off, it might tell me why it was so important. Seems like a lot is hanging on these inspections. Hey, Dan, I wanted to congratulate you on your effort in the Paven Springs expansion campaign. I just got word back from the state, and we've officially passed inspection. Pop some champagne, you've earned it. All that's left now is the vote. I've been hearing great things about your progress with the town members. Sponsoring the Spring Festival was a nice touch. Keep up the great work. Whatever Typhon was up to, it looks like they've all but gotten away with it. Of course that was Diane's idea. I'm gonna make sure this expansion fails if it's the last thing I do. Interesting. Damn. Is this what situation? You mean that guy you killed? Too bad money can't fix all of Typhon's problems. Wait. He's talking about it like it's a sure thing. Who would have thought getting the timing of all this is too convenient to be a coincidence? And I thought above ground mining was terrifying. Huh. Okay. Rhea this schematic. is Rhea. Fuck. This map's too small to tell where this is. I need a map. Mm -hmm. 
I really hope these maps line up. That's the site of the 2008 Typhon mine collapse. Why would they set off a blast in their current mine to cover up a blast in their old mine? Something to do with an expansion? Did Typhon just have inspections around the old site? They weren't mining for anything. They were burying something. I want to snoop through the laptop more. Damn, <laughs> that's it. Oh, let's go through our choices. Um, Alex chose Ryan to distract Diane. Sixty percent chose Di um staff. Um, uh, most people. Alex took Charlotte's anger from her. Okay. Most people did that too. Um, Alex made Diane sad. Alex listened to Sugar Pie Riot in the apartment. Oh yeah, there was that. Um, Alex did some weeding on the rooftop. Okay, most people didn't do that. Ethan and Alex were never knocked out in battle. Cool. 1% Alex was knocked out and 2% both were knocked out. Great. Um, the troll was killed in battle, 52%. The serpent was put to sleep, 56%. Steph stormed out of the apartment, 52%. Steph stormed out of the apartment? I don't remember that. Steph helped Alex find out what Typhon was up to. Oh, that was just now. Oh, okay. Well, if I didn't take the anger from, um, what's her face? From Charlotte, then Steph probably would have stayed. King Tabor was vanquished in the final battle. 100%. Ooh. King Tabor vowed to return for his revenge. None of them, no, the zero percent got that. Um, Riley doesn't know about Eleanor's condition. Sixty-six percent. How does she find out about her demen dementia? I wonder. Alex helped the student focus on her work. Sixty-one percent. Alex and Ethan solved the jester's riddle. Alex and Ethan helped the blacksmith with his work. Interesting. So let's just go back to the main menu for now. Thank you guys for watching this video. It was an emotional roller coaster and it is a lot longer than I expected it to be. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, please stick around for the next chapter. Um, yeah, and click the like and subscribe button and please comment down below if you enjoyed this video. Thanks guys, bye!